Monster, the Jeffrey Dahmer series, is Netflix's second most watched series ever. It's a dramatization of the life and story of notorious serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer. Starting tomorrow through Thursday on the Dr. Phil show, he interviews real life victims and family members of Dahmer, and some are very frustrated with Netflix's portrayal of the killer. I sat down this morning with Dr. Phil to hear more about that and why Americans are so fascinated with true crime. I cannot for the sake of me understand why anyone would want to glamorize that guy at all. That's sick. Dr. Phil, we hear the testimony from the victims, from relatives of the victims. What did you learn in talking to some of these people? Well, I talked to two men that were raped and tortured, but escaped uh, without getting killed. Uh, Preston Davis and Billy Capshaw that talk about who this really is, what he's really like, what he really does. He beat me so hard that I, I, I of course, yelled. But he, if I yelled, he would hit me harder to stop the yelling. I just gave up. They think the Netflix series uh, glamorizes and sensationalizes and tries to contextualize Jeffrey Dahmer in a, in a way that doesn't excuse his behavior, but tries to put a frame around it. And they're saying the only frame around this guy is that he is evil. Don't always face to face with Satan himself. There are so many people who are fascinated with true crime stories, and that is why this Netflix docu-series has been so popular. What is wrong with Americans that we are almost voyeuristic looking at this? There is a voyeurism, but that curiosity to a degree is normal and can be helpful if, if it wipes away naivete that exposes people and and lets them look past things that give them a bad feeling in their stomach. You don't want to look past those things. Uh, his father did that. I, I air some never before seen footage of me interviewing this father that missed so many red flags with his own son that lives could have been saved if he hadn't done that. I mean, involving his son pre-murder spree with dead animals and, and sexuality. And he was touching the insides of these animals that he just sort of got hardwired neuronally into connecting the sexual pleasure with this type of activity. Is there any other way to explain Jeffrey Dahmer, Dr. Phil, besides pure evil? There's something called the dark triad, which has to do with psychopathy, narcissism, and Machiavellianism. And when those three things come together, it's a perfect storm, and you get this kind of behavior. And fortunately, it's rare, but when you get it, it can wreak havoc in people's lives, as it did here. And so many people enable this that you just are going to wind up screaming at the screen when you see some of the things that allowed this to happen. So again, the three part series begins tomorrow through Thursday. Dr. Phil airs right here on CBS 8 at 3 p.m.